Yo, what's up, you're back, and today, MLB The Show 24 is right around the corner. Here's what you want to do day one to capitalize and make the most of. Insane stub making method. You can see it's worked in MLB The Show 24. Honestly, I have like 5 million stubs in this account. We got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of people that are just locked in. We got like 30 of players that are like 20,000 stubs each. I'm telling you, this is going to make us tons of stubs early. Now, I make the most of my stubs in the first week that the game comes out by doing this method. Now, in years past, I've never revealed this method until later in the year, but, you know, I'm feeling generous. Now, I'm not going to be making a ton of videos about this. I'm going to be saving it for members of the channel. So become a member, get exclusive access to the Discord room, which will be linked down below. Join the Discord, good community, become a member, you'll get access to private rooms. Let's talk about the best stub making method, day one of MLB 24. It's got to be the silver to gold exchange. Let me tell you why. So for those of you that don't know how it works, they're gonna have a silver to gold exchange program in there. And basically you buy a bunch, a high quantity of silver cards like this. I have 42 Marcelo Zunas and it looks like it takes about, what is it, five? It takes 578 overalls to get an exchange pack. So when you exchange 578 overalls, let's say a 78 overall is 100 stubs. It's not, but let's just say it is. Uh, it won't be, let's put it that way. Let's just say it costs 500 stubs to get the pack. You would hope to open up this gold exchange pack, which will give you a, a random gold card from 80 to 84 overall, and hope you make more profit than it costs, right? You do that over and over and over and over again, and hope you make a bunch of stuff. Now, let me tell you why it's the best uh, when the game first releases. So there's a little thing called live series inflation, I like to call it, right? You know, we're going to have... Uh, what SDS does is all of these guys right now that are currently at their overall MB23, they give them room for improvement. They basically knock them down a couple pegs. You'll have guys like Lewis Arias. He won't be an 83. He might be an 80. So they give, they basically reset the market and give people an opportunity to make stubs. This causes a lot of uh, pandemonium. You'll have guys like, uh, you, if you go to some diamond guys right now, right? If you go to guys like Ozzy Albies, JT Ramuto, these guys, you know, they're high name players. People are going to want them. They'll probably be 84 overall to start, right? If you have a guy like Adley Rutschman, who's an 84 overall to start. 84 overalls are actually gonna be usable for the first week or two of the game because there's not gonna be a lot of high diamonds immediately ready to play, right? So you're gonna want, if you're playing ranked, you're gonna want some of these higher overall live series cards on your team. It's basically the only the only week or two of the game's existence where these 84 overall cards are gonna be useful. So with that, they're gonna have prices like this. If you have an, like 86 Tyler Glass now, he's quick sell at MLB 23. If he's an 84 overall, we're gonna see prices around here. We'll see prices around five, six, seven thousand stubs for an 84 overall card that has a 1500 stub quick sell, right? So it's crazy. They're highly overvalued and we have to capitalize. Now you might be thinking to yourself, you know, that sounds great and all. I do have to tell you, silver cards are also going to be expensive. You know, while the exchange pack might cost a thousand stubs in MLB 23, it's gonna be a little bit more high risk come MLB 24 because silver cards are going to be like 250 each. I remember it because I do it every single year. Uh, so what's going to happen is usually I think I pay around 1,500 to 2,000 stubs per pack uh, in the first week or two of the game's exist existence. And really, you're not really going to make that much profit every like three packs or so. And then you get a guy who's 7,000 stubs once every five packs. And there's where the profit starts coming in, right? So here's an example of how these packs work. You know, look, 84 overall. See that? It's, it's random. Now, this 84 overall says he's 1,500 subs, but an 84 overall is going to be a lot higher value come MV24. It's the best stub making method you'll have. Right here, 80 overall. So maybe we lost 200 stubs right here, but that first pull we probably made like 3,000. So it's a really good way. 82 overalls are usually the ones where you're breaking even. 80 and 81, you're probably going to lose a little bit of stubs. 81 might be close to breaking even. 82 overalls, you'll usually make a little bit of stubs, but really 83 and 84 overall, bam, I'm telling you, this method's going to be insane come MLB 24. Even in MLB 23, let's take a look at what just happened, right? If I go to the 78 overalls that I just spent, let's see, let's see, let's see what the rate is right now in MLB 23. These seven, I don't even know what the quick sell value is, honestly. I'm gonna be real here. Let's see, let's see what the quick, I think it's 100, right? 100 stubs, 125 stubs. All right, so I just spent, 500, five times 125. I spent, quick math, right? 620 stubs, right? Is that right? Yeah, 625 stubs for each one of those packs. And you saw me open them, right? 
I got 284 overalls. That's a thousand stub profit per pack. If I did that a, a hundred times, we're talking about a hundred thousand stub profit. And really, this is the most important time, right? The gold exchange packs have the most profit come day one, day two, day three of the game because the inflation of those cards starts going down. And something that I've noticed is that what will happen is that the, the, the gold cards, the gold cards will go down in value a lot faster than the silver cards will, right? So the cost of the packs will be increasing and the, the return, the, the, the revenue, you can say, from the pack will be decreasing. So it'll kind of come to an equilibrium. So you got to exploit it fast, quick, put in a bunch of orders as fast as you can. And that's really the best stub making method. And why is it important to make stubs early on, right? Something I need to I need to tell you guys is it's very important. You have to listen. Do not I would I would not play ranked seasons, right? The number one goal of the game in the first week or two, you shouldn't have a single card that is sellable on your team. You should be selling everything because the first week or two of the game, you know, yeah, you know, go play with 84 Vlad. That's fun. But 84 Val, you can buy 84 Vlad back for like a quick sell in a week or two, right? So let the prices come down, sell them while they're overvalued, then buy them back later. Make the stubs while they're there and ready for the taking. That's the number one advice I have to you guys heading into this stub making method season. Again, that's the best stub making method to start day one. Tons of other stub making methods on top of that. Stay tuned, become a member. All the members get updated of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and the best stub making method before everyone else. Because guess what? When I tell everybody uh, on, on YouTube, if I say, you know, do this method, then they're gonna do the method and you're gonna get outbid, right? So I, I gotta feed the people that are the members of the channel. I gotta tell them first, give them a day's notice. Hey, do this method before I release this video. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you're gonna try this out come day one it'll be the show. Again, if you pre-order, you get four days early access, March 15th, coming soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Smash the like button, subscribe button. Let's get rich.